Hey guys, Sadie Nardini here. I'm gonna teach you how to rock your jump forwards from downward facing dog on that mat back there using your deep core line of muscles, the muscles closest to your skeleton that are built to decompress you and lighten you up. All the other body meridians, front body lines, back body lines of muscle, they're all going to compress you and make your pose heavier. So forever, a lot of us have been using instructions or doing this practice in a way that actually makes it harder for you, not easier. We're going to use physics to your advantage today, plus activate your whole inner body more fully to give you more results, but also to really help you lighten this movement from downward facing dog to hop forward. Now, don't worry, no matter what level you're at right now, I'm going to give you three variations so that you can really master your moment and make sure that you're doing it exactly in alignment to your advantage, not your disadvantage as we move. First, a very short physics lesson, and then we will take it to the mat. All right, so join me back there. Come to kneel on your mat here. Plant your hands in front of you, straight arms. Now, with straight arms, using only your arms, this is so trippy, try to press yourself up to sit, just your arms. We could just look at each other all day because that is not going to work. Newton's first law of motion, an object that is in motion, or in this case still, is going to stay that way forever until acted upon by an outside force or you have to do something different. So we can just sit here all day, but we don't want to do that. We want to get moving. So instead, to gain power, I want you to bend your elbows straight back as if you're going to put your forearms down on the ground, but you don't. Really bend. Yeah. So from here, inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to press your hands down, draw into that low belly and the pelvic muscles squeeze in and up too. That just helps to contain what's called the ground reaction force. Now, what's happening is as you inhale Newton's second and third law of motion, you're going to press down second law, create an acceleration in the direction that you want to work with. And then for every action, you've probably heard this one, there is an equal and opposite reaction, yeah? So as we press down, we're going to, from the core of the earth, as we press into the core of the earth, you're going to receive back core support from the earth. A ground reaction force, or what I call a bounce upward of new energy, of new power that you're going to collect by hugging and lifting pelvic floor and low belly. I'm such a geek that I actually figured out how to do this in yoga practice. But anyway, I pass the savings on to you. So inhale, bend the elbows back, and as you exhale, you're going to press the hands down and gather up into the pelvic floor and belly. Now check this out. Come back to straight arms and bend your elbows a tiny, tiny bit. This is what can happen in the jump forwards because the mind gets scared or maybe you're going rushing past some of these previous variations. We don't want to do that. So you might default to being like, oh, I'll just bend a little bit, but then look, you don't have any power there either. It takes a pretty deep bend, some humility and trust to get close to this earth that will then give you much more power. So I want to invite you to bend the elbows more today, but hop lower. So you're not having to do it all at once. All right. We'll begin here on hands and knees. And this is the first variation, great for beginners or any of you who are just trying to figure this out. Now, inhale, bend the elbows back a lot and send the hips back, almost like a child's pose with your elbows almost on the ground, but you're just buoyant here. And on the exhale, don't let the elbows sweep out, sweep them back. Good. Wrist creases forward, fingers spread wide. Now on the exhale, press your hands down straight and zip up into the pelvic muscles and low belly. Look, it's not a, it's not a cat pose like that. Yeah, it's just the pelvic muscles firming and lifting so you're not hanging out in the low back. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, squeeze pelvic muscles and low belly muscles in and up. Good. Inhale, try it again. Exhale. Now, if that feels good to you, you can try this in downward facing dog. Bent dog. Bend the knees and bend the elbows. Yeah, so give a little bounce there. Now, on the exhale, you'll come to a piked plank. You'll press the arms straight on the exhale, zip up the pelvic muscles and the low belly. Again, it's not as high as you can go with the back. It's really directed and concentrated in the pelvis and the belly itself. So you inhale back, put your weight back so you're not on your arms so much, and exhale, 
press down through the hands and the earth, lift up through the low belly and pelvis. Inhale back and exhale. So at any time you want to counter pose, sit back, squeeze the wrists out, reach your arms back, open the chest, and breathe. Final variation, and here's where you start to find the flight that comes from really pressing into the earth. Now notice, when you press the arms, you're not lifting yourself up with anything, you're pressing down and gathering that lift up intelligently into the belly and pelvis. So let's try this. Come to downward facing dog, walk your big toe mounds together. This will activate part of your deep core meridian in the body, muscles and fascia by integrating the inner thighs and the pelvic muscles together with the inner midline squeeze. Bend your knees, bend those elbows back and send your weight back towards the back of your mat. Get bouncy, inhale bent. On the exhale, we will attempt together to press your hands down to the ground, to lift up through the belly and pelvis and let the heels move up towards your sitting bones. Now you can jump lower and more back at an angle. That's okay too. But eventually, you want to try to press the hands down. Lift the pelvic muscles up. And you can hover that in time if it's appropriate for your body. So we were all just we're chipping away together. All right, inhale back. Do what you can. These are called Shakti kicks. So really press the hands down. Really lift the belly. And at the last moment, as you lift up, keep the hands lifting up, keep the belly lifting, and hop more lightly forward between the hands. You always want to maintain that earth to core connection of the hands pressing down and the pelvis and belly muscles squeezing up away from the hands. A deep bend first and a lift. There you go. From here, you can curl yourself in and lighten your weight down. So that's the beginning. You can play with it after that. More advanced variations, but them's the basics. So practice that until you come into mastery, and I'll see you soon. Namaste.